Greetings, programs. I'm Young Napoleon, and I want to welcome you to episode two of my inaugural Let's Play series. If you haven't already figured it out, we're doing a Texas run through Victoria 2 with no mods and all of the DLC. If you happen to have noticed the extreme time gap between episodes one and two, congratulations. You earned today's Sherlock Award. Suffice to say, life happens. But we're back, and we're ready to rumble. In the last episode, we got started with the Texas Revolution, uh, which is apparently supposed to not go well, uh, so that the U.S. will enter. They, they want to enter, but I don't think they can um, join in until things are going really bad for me. So uh, I'm going to continue to let things go poorly, which is, um, which is nice, because I think that was going to be how it turns out anyway. Um, I have watched... A maybe maybe another two or three hours of Let's Play since the last time I recorded this. I was watching a tutorial series by um, Flying Dutchy, and I'll include the, the link to that series in the doobly-doo. Um, hold on, my cat wants to get in the way here. So yeah, I'll include the, the link for that in the, the doobly-doo, because it's a great series if you want to learn how to play the game. I highly recommend it. It's a good channel there. And... Um, I read up, I refreshed myself on the wiki. Again, I don't want this to be a paint by numbers, so I'm not going to, like, just go step by step through this. But, uh, yeah, I have not played this game at all since the last time I recorded, so this is still going to very much be a Let's Learn series. Uh, so without further ado, uh, let's dive in. Uh, I'm going to start by unpausing the game, just so that... Uh, so the Mexicans can go ahead and, and, and do their thing here uh, while I get back into the swing of things. So one of the comments that I noticed last time was that I needed to shift, switch my map mode to the political map mode down in the lower right. And indeed, there it is. Looks like the shortcut is W. And yeah, that looks that looks a lot better. We see some... I can actually see what's mine and... It's good to know that they haven't taken El Paso from me this round. That they're uh, they, they already own it. I think I have a I think I do have a core on it. Yeah, I've got a core on it. So that's nice. Uh, and I'm gonna let that go. I also uh, from watching Flying Dutchie's tutorial series, I think I want to change my technology. Uh, I know I started off with market structures to try and see. I think that's in commerce. Yeah, I started off in market structure to try and get me some mining and farming output, but I think I have come to the realization that population is important. So I'm gonna shift to medicine, I think. Um, so I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, there's some pop growth down in there and uh, I just pointed at my screen for all of those of you who can't see me, which is literally everybody listening to this. Um, so yeah, that was great. Standard uh, beginning let's play uh, maneuver, I'm sure. Yeah, there's a there's a pop growth on there, a little bit of pop growth. Um, some reduction, some army attrition minuses, and I don't know if those, those might all be related to the inventions, though. So, um, but if picking that means that I have a chance to, to gain those inventions and get that those population growth modifiers and my cat is back and of course she picks now to to hop up on the desk uh, if taking this means that i can get those inventions and start working on that those population growth modifiers i think i'm going to go ahead and take the switch um combat minute yeah these are all inventions these are all where the that's okay now she her claws are caught on my pants <laughs> okay oh come here sweetheart let go. Let go. There you go. Okay, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and pick medicine and start research. Yes, I will give you attention. And uh, switch to that. Hopefully I haven't like lost all of the progress that I made in market structures. And that when I come back to it, you know, maybe it'll, it'll pick back up. We'll see if I actually get that far. But yeah, after, after I pick up the medicine, I think I'm going to go back down into um, some of this aesthetics. Oh, hey, the USA has intervened. 
Yay! <laughs> awesome. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna go for some cultural stuff in order to uh, start working on that highly improbable goal of attaining great power status. Uh, watching Flying Duchy, I realized just how much is required for that. And like, so yeah, I'm 33rd and I got a long ways to go to get up to eight. So we'll see if that happens. But uh, for now, we're going to focus on letting the U.S. win this war for us. Even though that's not how it went in real life. Let's see what's going on there. It looks like they're still sieging down Austin. They've got a hold of Lubbock. Oh, that other army must have moved down in here. Yeah, they'll get Austin down fast. I do hope they send some troops down here. Or this, um, at least it won't be a one episode long series now, but uh, this will be one of the shortest Let's Plays series. In oh, here they come. Let's see what's going on. I've got good old Sam Houston. Wow, a leader defense of six. Dug in. I don't have much in the way of troops. They have a lot more than me, uh, but they're rolling poorly. And uh, their leader, Mario Arista, Mariano Arista, is not um, up to snuff. It's kind of fun to see Sam Houston in the Alamo. But uh, so, yeah, it looks like they're doing rather poorly. Which is apparently why this is easy mode. Because I just park it down here in San Antonio. Another poor... Hey, I won. I got some war score. They threw away almost 10,000 of their 15,000 troops and I lost 607. That sounds about right, doesn't it, Lucy? Yeah, she's shaking her head like that was a poor decision and she's caught on my hoodie. Now, stop that. <laughs> it's not a toy. Um, okay. So good, we're good to go there, and let's see. I keep wanting to use the WASD keys. Yeah, get some. All right, so we got another army. They're still sieging down Austin. Uh, where can I see the war score here? Texas War of Independence. Tech occupation, so I don't know my military, no, there is their military. Oh, I see. It's my. This is twenty three because it's got the U S. in there. Okay, U S. is only twenty one to their eleven, and I'm two. The Ottomans are trying to. Are they trying to take Tripoli? I presume. Afghan liberation of Bukharan, Western Afghanistan. I already got some some liberation wars going on here. So yeah, I don't know what this really means right now, uh, this negative 3%. I think, I think I'm losing, which is to be expected. USA is demanding status quo. So yeah, I can't add any, any war. Can I propose peace? They would not accept this offer. Oh, no, we don't want to offer them to annex Texas. Then, <laughs> I mean, unless I want to make that prediction of the shortest Let's Play series ever a self-fulfilling prophecy. So, no, we're going to let them keep on doing what they're doing. And I'm just going to kind of plan ahead. I know, I don't think I have, I'm have. i going to have much in the way. Oh, yeah, that's what I wanted to do. Let's look at my budget and make sure I got... Working on bureaucrats. Okay, so I hope this is a good number. I've got everything. I know that I want to get my clergymen and my bureaucrats up. So uh, we'll see. I'm not entirely sure how to go about monitoring that. There's so many numbers here. Ooh, I can make a decision. We can enact the following reforms. Outlawed in slavery. Wealth and vote franchise. Let's see. So what are my voters' ideologies? They're liberal. Some of them are liberal. Most of them are conservative. Uh, jingoism. What's my what's my dominant party right now? Looks like liberal. 
the liberals are in charge of Texas. Yeah, I'm sure there's a joke there somewhere. Uh, let's see. They want, they're in favor of free trade, uh, essay fair, pluralism, residency, and jingoism. Okay, jingoism is fine. That's what uh, everybody wants. Let's see. 7.2 want this reform. The upper house would vote yes. Let's see, upper house based on population. 0.2% of the population want this reform. I heard a noise, which has happened. I have an unread newspaper, the New York News. War between Brazil and Colombia, the fears of Spain, Sweden's relations, victory, victory. Oh yeah, it's talking about um, USA expands, province of Denver now belongs to the USA. Ooh. Oh, hey, another battle. I won. They, it looks like they threw away another almost 9,000 troops, and I, I lost a lot more this time. Hopefully that doesn't continue too much. What's the war look like? War score is minus 50. The enemy has won a total victory. We should consider offering them. No, thank you. Okay, so what was I doing? I'm back looking at... Wow, I cannot believe... I have completely forgotten what I was just looking at. They're still... They're working on Dallas now. Oh, yeah, I was looking at the decisions. Okay, so... 7.48% of the population wants to outlaw slavery. 0% wants uh, to base the upper house on population. 0%, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Okay, so it looks like the slavery issue is what they want. Um, I'm very much inclined to outlaw it. Let's see what it's going to do to me here. 55% votes yes. Reactionaries don't like it. The conservatives don't like it. The liberals do like it. Uh, do not have the country flag, the slavery debate, or the years after 75. Yeah. Um, okay. I want to outlaw slavery because I think moral issues aside, um, from what I understand, it's not a very good uh, pop type, which is interesting that um, I make that decision now is because part of the reason I think the um, Texas Revolution happened is that I think someone correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I think uh, the Mexican government wanted to outlaw slavery, wanted to abolish it, and I think Texas did not want to, to lose their slaves. So I think that's part of the reason. Now I, I'm probably grossly oversimplifying it, but and um, you know, hopefully the comments on YouTube will be civil. Yeah, that's what I thought. So, uh, moving right along, I'm going to up the speed just a little bit. I don't want to, like, completely blow past another attack on the Alamo like I did that first time. But I do want things to proceed a little bit quicker so that, you know, this is an interesting video to watch. Okay. Still waiting on the U.S. It would be nice. Oh, it looks like they've fully... Uh, colonized Oklahoma up here. Am I still in the political map mode? Yeah. So I was thinking earlier that I would, you know, once this war was over, I would try and do some colonization up in here, but yeah, that's not going to happen. Oh, here we go. Is this Mexico? It is Mexico. Okay. That makes more sense. All right. So they've taken Salt Lake City. And they're moving down. Okay. Okay. That's cool. That's cool. We got this. Do I got all my troops back yet? I do. Full full stack. I mean... Oh, here we go. Got another battle. Let's see what's going on. I'm going to pause it while I look at this. The defining symptom of cholera is an exhaustive diarrhea. Eesh, that's crappy. Rendering the diseased almost completely incapable of retaining fluid. 
Severe forms of disease can cause death within a few days of the first symptoms, making it one of the most rapidly fatal illnesses known to man. Today, we received a dispatch from one of our provinces, confirming earlier reports that the disease has indeed broken out there. Let's see, we can quarantine them, which lowers the population growth in Houston. And all pops in Houston gain two consciousness, which means they want to vote more and they lose some militancy. Um, how bad could it get? The population growth I lose by 2%. That's even worse. And they all gain two consciousness, but don't... Wait. Oh, they lose two consciousness. Okay. Apparently that's good because it's a green number. Um, yeah, I, I want to minimize the population loss, so I'm going to quarantine the province. I got a bunch of... They're seizing it down over there anyway. I wonder if that'll affect the troops. Like, will they get sick and suffer attrition if I've got cholera going on in here? That'd be interesting. Oh, that's right. We've got battle. 26,000. Oh, I can unpause that now. 26,000 to my nine. President, our new upper house has been assembled. Reactionary, 11%. Conservative, 62 Oh, wow. Whew. That was a resounding flip. Okay. Let's unpause. Let things continue here. Uh, the organization's about the same. Eesh. Eesh. This is not looking good. This is not looking good. Nope. All right. Let's go ahead and lower the speed now so that I can let it keep going while I try and figure out what I'm doing next. I don't know if this is part of the plan or not. Um, I lost a lot of troops. Why did, why did my artillery not take part in the fight? Oh, Santa Ana. Interesting. Okay, so I lost some prestige there, which is unfortunate. Um, okay. Oh, I think, I think I just got stack wiped. So about that shortest Let's Play series ever. Um, yep. That, uh, good job. Good job. <laughs> uh, at least I haven't gotten a game over screen yet, so there's still hope? Maybe? Come on, America. Where, where's America? They got some troops up here, but they're not doing anything. They got a sizable army over here in Utah still. Looks like they're... Working on Loa? Is that the name of the... Yeah. Loa. Moab. Really? That's the name of the province? Moab? Interesting. Loa. Flagstaff. Yeah, so... Well, alright then. <laughs> Crank it up a little bit since I've got literally nothing to do now while I watch my population decline and my budget sink and the U.S. is just sitting up in Nevada. All right. All right, well, I think that is going to, to do it for today. Hopefully um, there's a, a, a part three <laughs> in the near future. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. Uh, and I, I did enjoy it. It's a learning experience. Um, if you did, be sure to do all that YouTube stuff if you haven't already. And uh, always remember, sometimes you win and sometimes you learn. I hope we all learned something today. 
I know I did. And uh, I'll see you next time.